In this video, we want to talk about notification deep linking in Android with Wishbots. So deep linking is the process through which you can open an app to a specific resource or activity uh, in response to an external event, in our case, a notification. So by and large, it's about selecting part of your app that becomes activated once you click the notification. And this is great because it makes your app more responsive, dynamic, and capable of directly navigating through to a specific content. By default, clicking a notification will now take you back to your launcher activity. So to explain that, I've made an app for the purpose of demonstration. So let's go to Android Studio. This is a sample app with three activities. Main activity, launching pushbots. Previous activity, which is just a blank activity and next, which is also a blank activity with some modification that I'll go through. Uh, if we go to the layout, this is how it looks like. This is just Hello World screen. Uh, previous has exactly the same content, just uh, one text view that says previous screen. And next has uh, an additional two text views. One is called message and one is called author. So if you open the app, this is how it looks like. So let's try the default behavior of this app. Let's go to uh, the application on Pushbots dashboard, send the push notification, and just send it right away. And it's there immediately. So if I click it, it takes me back to my launcher activity, which is the main activity. So let's say that I want to go to the previous activity. Pushbots has made it very easy to do this just by adding an additional data field and the payload. Test 2 and use the key of next activity and the value of the full name of the activity com.example.sampleapp.prev and let's try this one. If we click this one it takes us to the previous activity. So that is insanely useful if you want to open a specific activity within your app. So now let's try the other one. Next, next activity. Custom field is next activity. And come to the sample, sample app dot next. Let's try this one. So let's click it and we go to the next screen. So I cannot imagine an easier way to do this. But now let's say that I want to dynamically capture the message and also some of the data fields that I send and just display it within this next screen. To do that, we have just a few lines of code that I added right here. So by and large, when you're sending custom data fields along with the notification, they are always in uh, the extras of the intent. So all I need to do is capture the extras of the intent and then just make sure that extras are not null. And, and in this case, I want the message key and the author key. And if we go back to the layout, those are two text views so I define two text views and all I do is set text. So all I need to do is let's click send test deep linking with data and say that I want to go to com.example.sampleapp.next and I want also to pass the value, the key and value of author equals my name. Now let's send. So if we click this one, we will go to the next activity with the message text view replaced with the message that I've sent and also an additional piece of data that I've sent along, which is the author and 